So we're here in Crane's Castle in the brewery where the VA Home Loan Boot Camp is going to be hosted. And I'm here with the owner, Megan Cranenberg. I'm so excited to be with you. So Megan, how long have you guys been here? So we opened in September 2018, so it's been almost four years. This week, four years since our soft open. Oh, so, so you're yeah. going through COVID and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, we can, kind of, thanks to some really great community members, a lot of our, like our brickware club, like their leather sleeves on the on the wall behind us. Just had a good community that made sure that we were able to kind of steamroll. That's awesome. So within Crane's Castle, I'll, you guys have a number of beers. So tell us about your best sellers. Well, right now it is the early. It's early September, right? So our best sellers are our October Fest. But and it's funny because we actually have that beer on tap all year long. But my husband Dan, the head brewer, like loggers are his passion. So we have. The left side of our menu between our Pilsner, Oktoberfest, Doppelbach, our Mexican lager, the lime lager, which crushed it this summer, and sometimes other seasonal lagers that we bring out. Lagers are kind of our reason for living. Like, we're not a big, we have a couple really solid IPAs on tap out of our 15, but we like to think of ourselves as we kind of exploring the world of everything that's out there for beer. Well, we're so thankful for you joining us. Oh, and sure. Since we're here, yeah. with these in front of us, <laughs> shall we do some tasting? I think you probably should, and I, I can see your little flight pedal here and you guys got a pretty good representation of some of my favorites here. We've got our Pilsner, the Doppelbach, our Scotch Ale, our flagship IPA, the Prereq, and our Belgian Wit. What do you guys usually like? I like darker ambers or darker. Okay. Usually not a yeah, huge yeah. IPA, which is not a, a <laughs> Washington State fabric thing. Uh, well, I'll have sorry. an IPA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. No, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> um, awesome, so probably the darkest thing on the menu here tonight would be the Scotch Ale, which is going to come in at your number three position there. But yeah. we do have, like, we have on tap for later the Oatmeal Stout and our Coconut oh, Porter, that's, I do need which are uh, the darkest ones right now. Mm -hmm. And Shores Bear will be kind of awesome. That's not exciting. That's All right, great. so should we just try that? Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Scotch Ale. All right, so Scotch Ale for you guys. Tell us more about. Should to we? The Belgian should win. we? Yeah. Uh, like get one for her so that it's all good. I'm gonna do the Belgian win. All right. I'll just cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and you guys brew this in house. What's that? Yeah. Yes. All of our beers are in house. Ooh, I like that. It's really smooth. Very so, smooth. So walk us through the flavors on that Scotch Ale. So Scotch Ales are going to be like a maltier beer. So you think about like Oktoberfest. It's Oktoberfest's Scot Scottish cousin a little bit, right? And what makes it kind of more of a Scotch Ale is going to be the peatiness. So it's brewed with some peat. And so it's a really malty beer, so it gets that sweetness, but then finished with peat, smoked peat. Um, like whiskey, right? So think about like your your Highland Scotch or your Isla Scotches, especially your Lagavulins for your Juan Swanson fans out there, your Ardberg. You know. So the Island of Isla, you know, you get that peat smoke with it. When you said that, it clicked for me. Right, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please and thank you. Yeah. Have a Scotch ale. <laughs> right, what's our next one? Next one. Are you doing your, uh, you're going to do this Doppelbach? So Doppelbach is going to be, take the peat out, but then like double the intensity a little bit. Doppelbach is going to be Oktoberfest's big brother. A little heavier, a little higher alcohol content, a little bit sweeter on the finish. Yeah. I just the like, big brother. I just uh, like whoever made the name Doppelbach. That's yeah. Such, it sounds... So you got your box, your your doppels. So the the word doppel is double, double. right? So that's why we call ours the doppel travel, double trouble, right? Nice. Doppel travel, doppel box. So you're gonna get just a heavier alcohol content wow. than you would from the Pilsner or from the October Fest. So. The test is if you can say doppel travel, doppel, doppel box. Travel, doppel box. After having one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Have another one. <laughs> I like it. And and you um, in house trade secret if you want to do a half and half of Scotch ale and Doppelbach. We call it a Scotch bomb in house, and it's really good. All right, we'll, we'll do that after, yeah. after this. Fantastic. Thank you so much. What are you having? I'm having the Belgian Wit, and this is a new batch. And our new brewer, Alan, made this, and um, it's oh my god, good job, Alan. So you have a couple brewers that are working together. Yeah, so Dan, my husband, is still cracking the recipes and making sure that he keeps the QC online, but um, Alan has been doing the brewing for not long, six or seven months now. He started training with Dan, and, and kind of crews started flying so in April and May. Awesome job. Ooh, everything that's awesome. Yeah, oh, it's really good. Very good this is why <laughs> this is one of my favorite places in Bremerton. Awesome. Uh, you have the Pilsner, right? Yeah. 
Right? That's a pilsner? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tell us more about that. Oh, oh dang. It's the pilsner. That's, so that's one of the lightest lagers that you can get. Kind of classic, either bohemian pilsner is where we try to go with it more, so Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. Pilsner or Cal, like the Czech Republic. Czech Republic is like the Pilsner capital of the world, right? So like all the original U.S. breweries, Budweiser, Anheuser, they kind of came out of that Czech Pilsner brewing tradition. Oh wow. Um, before Prohibition and then Big Beer kind of took everything over and then the craft breweries were kind of crawling back into yeah. that space. So then you have know, also German style Pilsners, but ours is a little bit more trying to be that Bohemian and stuff. So it just changes up the malt profile. Um, and it's named for my husband's great, great grandfather, Otto Lang, whose pictures on the bar and his pictures on the bottle. He and his brothers ran a bottling operation in San Francisco back in the 1880s. Like all the way from about 1882, Prohibition basically is what finally shut it down. They even survived the Great Fire of San Francisco. Wow. They ran a laundry operation and they used the steam from the laundry to sanitize the bottles. So they did all the bottling for like um, the premier lagers that were being brewed in San Francisco. So been in your family for so long. Yeah, and like, we didn't really like know about the yeah. history, so we just saying, go to our website and read a little bit more about this. There's some links to more DNA. information about it. To my, yeah, definitely my husband's DNA. Living in Bremerton, I feel like, I feel honored that you guys are here. <laughs> you know? Because there's so much tradition in this We just, we really care about it's done right. We yeah. care about the quality, the ingredients are good, that we're like thinking about the style and how the style should represent. And then like our space, we just really want it to be a place where families can come hang out, play, play a board game, hang out with each other, and take the kids and you know, some snorkel in the back. And, or have, you know, have a sleep in here, have a family, but we've had baby promotion ceremonies here, we've had baby retirement ceremonies here, we have some farewells here pretty regularly, wow. Wow. had a wedding here, I mean, like, we just want to be a place that people feel everybody in our community is yeah. safe, whatever you want to like, or your face paint color, but it's a, that's cool, awesome, all right, that's great, that's all right, hey, we should do one more cheers, uh, Cheers. Thank Cheers. you, Megan. Thank you so welcome, Jesse. Yeah. Welcome, Lee. Have fun. We are here at Crane's Castle because on October 15th at 11 a.m., we are hosting a VA home loan boot camp. RSVP using the Eventbrite link for free lunch, free beer, and free education. If you can't make it to the event, please stop in, try Crane's Castle, support this great veteran owned business. They're located at 1550 Rydale Road Northeast in Bremerton. Love to see you here. <laughs> I think I said 1550 Rydale.